Good morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is Athena, and I will be helping guide us through service today. Um, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining Sanctuary and Celebration. Sanctuary is a 508C1A faith-based organization. Our faith in sacred mushrooms stems from prehistorical use by our ancestors and personal experiences of our modern members. Psilocybin mushrooms are one of the greatest sacraments that nature offers, raising our awareness to the source of life. It is our sincere belief that the consumption of psilocybin containing mushrooms is a communion which brings us closer to what is commonly called God. We understand this concept as pure consciousness, which permeates all being. This pure consciousness is, we believe, the ineffable source of creation and the origin of health and well-being. Our vision and mission at Sanctuary is to live in a world with supportive and joyful communities, empowered to discover our own divinity with sacred mushrooms and each other. We are bringing people together for healing and connection to divine revelation through communion with sacred mushrooms. We ask that you mute your mics if you're not muted already. The 30 minute service portion of our gathering prior to open discussion is being recorded and will be posted on YouTube for community viewing. Each Sunday we'll begin the community announcements and updates followed by a short guided meditation and a moment of gratitude for our sacrament for all of those who commune with it. Each Sunday we read from two texts, each followed by a journal reflection and facilitated discussion. We invite you now to find a comfortable space where you can settle in and be present as we begin our service. I'd like to invite our volunteer, Susan, to share announcements and upcoming events and offerings. Susan, are you with us? Okay. I can help. Thanks, Courtney. I think folks are, we're all still getting used to the business being in the front of yeah. the service. Okay. So our virtual circles and workshops are open to non-members for a suggested $5 donation and remain open at no cost for official members. Virtual offerings this week include Monday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern, Director's Open Office Hours with Eric. Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern, Internal Family Systems. Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, Psilocybin and Sobriety Circle. Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, Sanctuary Book Club. And this Wednesday, I, Courtney, will be leading our monthly Kentucky Women's Circle at Clifton Universalist Unitarian Church in Louisville, Kentucky from 6 to 8 p.m. During this circle, I'll facilitate a meditation followed by journaling and an authentic relating activity. Following circle, the community room will be open for us to gather with herbal tea. This circle is donation-based and open to all women in our community, membership not required. Check out our events calendar on sanctuary.org for details and to register for all of our events. Thank you very much. Thanks, Courtney. We've got a lot of fun things going on. All right, I now would like to invite Yeshua to share this week's sanctuary update. I have some help with all of the updates. I have an update in Maine, if that's okay. Perfect. Okay, because I don't know what else is going on. Courtney, can you 
tag team with me. That's all you're sharing about Yeshua. Just the main, just <laughs> yeah, the yeah. main update. All right, great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um oh, so we have our group ceremonies continuing each month. We have uh an, a retreat, which is a few days next month in August. And um those few days is at a there's an eco center, um, fully catered and lodging in yurts and cabins and have room up to 16 people. And we'll have one sacrament service as a group. And there's a, a sauna and a spring <clears throat> for I'm doing cold plunges and then after spring and the sauna and all together. We'll sing songs around the around the fire, um, have a, a sound soundscape musician that will provide a gong and a bunch of array of instruments. I'm Robert Harvey, another member of the church. And um, yeah, a few of us, a few of us ministers will be there to be present with those that are available to join us. And a few for, are from out of the state. We have many folks from in Maine that are coming and around New England. And what else? Elena um, has um, stepped into, um, Elena Thornton stepped into heading up group work and she is just coming out of a vision quest right now so please send your love and support to her from a distance she's completed a, like a nine month program with i think like women spiritual warriors and she is just finishing that and then this next couple of days i think it's this thursday um we will be in durham um, in, a, in a year for maybe about a dozen of us or so or less so anyways, love you all. Welcome to join us in group work anytime. We also have uh, Melanie's hosting a, um, a hike um, in Camden Hills. Um, just did a hike up in Mount Katahdin, the highest mountain in the state with a few sanctuary members. And uh, I've had a few like more educational events with the public and looking forward to have more. Or we've, we've been having like dinners before other events. It's a nice way if anyone's interested when to meet with your people. Just like look, we've looked on the calendar to say like what else is already happening. There's like a comedy show um, of a comedian coming through town. So we're going to have dinner with a bunch of folks. We had a Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, a guru come through. So we all went to go like meditate and hear him talk. Here is Dharma talk and then just met for dinner before. And so consider maybe doing the same thing to meet your people in the local area. Find an event that's already out there that you and others would like to go to and just go break bread before. Lots of love. Mm, awesome. Thank you for sharing all that, Yeshua. It's so, so wonderful to hear. And if you have been curious about going to Maine and you are just like, I don't know, I can promise it's a good time. And um, I encourage you to check it out. All right. If you are not yet a member and interested in joining our community of over 500 official members, you may begin by visiting sanctuary.org. Like the mycelial network we seek to emulate, Sanctuary relies on the support and resources of our community while giving back health and wholeness to the same. We seek to create a nationwide and eventually global community that contributes to the healing of humanity. Your support is incredibly valuable as we grow. And I'll be announcing our new members this week. We have Caleb from Nebraska, Tina from Maine, and Dyson from Utah. So welcome and thank you for being a part of our community. All right, we'll now begin uh, moving into the service today. And I invite Kevin to lead us in a short meditation. Good morning. So it be a quick little uh, breath work, three little rounds. If y'all just keep up with me all through the nose, out, out through the mouth, work through the inhale, and please just let it fall during the exhale. Don't try on the exhale. The whole point of this, whatever you're holding in this space right now, just let it go for a little bit. And you can always pick it back up once we're done. All right. Lay down, sit down, sit up straight if you can, erect your spine. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Let's go. Deep breath in, out, in, out, in, out. Deep breath in, let it out. Deep breath in, let it out. 
We're going to speed it up. In, out. 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 Deep breath in. Hold at the top. Squeeze a little bit. Let it go. Drop. Exhale. And hold right there for about 10 seconds. Feel a little stir up. You're okay. Just let it sit. Let it fall. Let it sit. Let it settle. Take a deep breath in. Hold again. Just for a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go. A little warm up round. Second round. Deep breath in. Let go. 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 One more. Deep breath in. Let go. Speed it up. In, out. 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 Deep breath in. Hold the top. Let it drop it. Hold at the bottom. Let's sit here for about 10 more seconds. Let it stir up. I know some of y'all are feeling it. You're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. You have plenty of air. No reason to panic. Deep breath in. Hold at the top just for a little bit. Feel that energy move around. Move around with it. If you feel so inclined, let go. All right. Last one. Deep breath in. Let go. 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 Slow it down. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Two more. Deep breath in. One last one. Deep breath in. All the high you can take it. Hold at the top. Squeeze if you can, just a little bit. Hold it up there. Let go. Hold at the bottom. Hold. Again, we're so good at stirring life up and allowing it to go crazy, but we never let it settle. That's the breath. That's where it imitates life. Breath is life. And if you come back to the breath, life makes a little more sense. Deep breath in. Hold at the top. Squeeze if you can. And hum on the way out. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, good job, guys. Let it settle. Listen up. Have a great day. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, Kevin. While we're still in this mindful and centered space, I invite us all to place our hands on our heart as we take a few moments to send loving intention to our sacrament and to all who cultivate or consume these sacred mushrooms. Without these gifts of our creator and the communion of our members, this community would not exist. The healing brought on by our sacrament is not limited to the times when we consume the mushroom, but extends into all aspects of our lives and spreads like the mycelium around our world. It is through intention and attention that we call forth the healing power of the mushroom and the community that we have formed around it. Let us use our ever-expanding awareness to bring greater peace and healing to our world. Let us radiate gratitude from our hearts to our creator, to our community, and to those who cultivate our sacrament. For these gifts impart healing to those who commune with love and sincerity. In cultivating and consuming this sacrament, we become aware of the oneness of life, the knowing that we live in all things 
and that all things live in us. Let us apply this understanding to all of our relationships and aid us in our journey as members of the human family. Thank you, everyone. The paradoxical nature of life and its mysteries are best experienced through the ineffable space we find in our communion with the mushroom. For more than 2,000 years, the Tao Te Ching has provided guidance and instruction for exploring the paradox of existence. It is for this reason that we employ the Tao Te Ching as our primary sacred text and invite all to study it further as you delve deeper into the mystery of life. And now invite James to read our Tao Te Ching chapter today. Chapter six. The spirit of the perennial spring is said to be immortal. She is called the mysterious one. The mysterious one is the source of the universe. She is continu continually, endlessly giving forth life without effort. Thank you, James. We'll now take a moment to journal, if you have your journals nearby. We'll take five minutes of reflection today. The Tao Te Ching, what feelings, thoughts, and ideas did this reading bring up for you? We'll have the opportunity to further explore what came up for us during a 20 minute discussion time following journaling. And I'll set my timer for five minutes. Can you show the chapter on the screen? have about one minute remaining.
please wrap up your thoughts as we move into our Tao discussion portion. I'd like to invite Yeshua to facilitate. Hey, family. Nice to see you all. Hey, Yeshua, one second. Oh, okay. Uh, getting used to this format. Sorry. I want to say um, we've come together with intentions of service to the land and all its inhabitants. It's in our hearts to go forth into the world with the collective consciousness. We encourage you to stay for the continued fellowship and conversation around our readings today. And for those unable to stay, we thank you for being with us. As we further our conversation, please remember that all perspectives are welcome as we search for the spiritual truth that unites us all. And please remember we are not a medical or therapeutic organization. Statements made by the moderator are, or members of Sanctuary are their own. We are here discovering and exploring alongside you. <laughs> 